Welcome to the beautiful Asbury Hall Golf Club. I'm Andy Proudman. And I'm Piers Ward. And today we'll be answering your Facebook and Twitter questions. You're watching Me and My Golf TV. So thanks for all your questions through Facebook and Twitter. And obviously the only way we can help you is by posting these questions. So make sure you do so. If you've got anything at all you think can help your golf, don't forget to put it up there. So you've joined us on the fantastic 18th green here at Asprey Hall Golf Club. Uh, par three, 200 yards over water. And Andy's got himself a situation here where he's got a, a chip and run to the flag. And John Murray, who's asked the question, often finds himself in this situation. He's getting some miss hits, John is. So John's striking the golf ball. He feels maybe out of the toe, but it's shooting off to the right. So when we hear someone saying they're hitting their strike, they're striking their chip shots out of the toe and it's shooting off to the right, I don't know who's a golfer, John, but I would say that you're a better golfer than that. And I would suggest that the ball is actually coming out of the heel but there's only one surefire way to find out. And you'll, you'll notice on the ground here, we've got a uh, golf ball in the middle of two tee pegs. So we've got a tee peg to the heel of the golf club, which is angled at the same angle as the shaft. And we've got a tee peg by the toe end of the golf club, which is going straight upwards. Now, what this is gonna do, it's gonna give you the feedback instantaneously whether the golf ball is coming out of the middle. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get Andy first of all to check to make sure he's hitting the golf ball out the middle. So I'm gonna get him to do this one first. We'll go into your setup in the moment, John, but this is the first thing I want you to do. I want you to hit the golf ball and then get some instant feedback. Let's see how good Andy is. Okay, so he's hit that one out of the middle because he's missed the tee pegs. Of course. Of course. Uh, of course, yes. Yeah, that's the first one. Take 58, this was, John. So you'll find that you'll get the feedback straight away. So obviously, if you're hitting the, hitting the golf club out of the heel of the golf club, you're going to hit this one. If you're hitting out the toe, you're going to hit this one. So your job is to maybe have three or four goes with the T-peg gate as we've got there, and then obviously get that feedback. You'll hit the same one every time, I'm sure of it. And then obviously you can just hit shots missing that one. So that's the, the simplest way Sounds to do it. Simple. <laughs> yeah, it's very simple. It takes a bit of practice, but obviously this feedback is going to help you. So just going to John's setup as well, he mentioned about having a, a, an open stance. So Andy, if you can just take your setup again, imagine there's a ball there. What can, what can some of the problems be by having a stance which is too open? I think, well, uh, first of all, with the chipping, you get a lot of people say, okay, you need to open your stance, you need to get the ball back, hands forward, and there's a lot of things, a lot of common things that we see, Piers, yeah. yeah? So I think with, first of all, if you're gonna open the stance, keep the shoulders square, okay? I really wanna keep the shoulders square. It's fine having the feet a little bit open, but I see a lot of people with, you know, the hips, the shoulders, and the feet open. So first of all, let's get your shoulders square. That's the most important thing. So once your shoulders are square, the feet and the, and the hips don't have to be that far open. You know, maybe pull the left foot back, but certainly, you know, a small amount is, is really... You can sometimes square. flare the left foot out, can't you? So you can have a square yeah. stance and actually just get the left foot and just flare it out toward yeah. the target. So again, the, the over-exaggeration can, can lead to sort of poor swing pass, and, and we often see that leading to, to poor strikes. So I'd say, I'd say really for yourself, John, get back to more of a, a square stance and sort of modify it slightly from there. So rather than being sort of, you know, open and the head back and all, you know, all these things, it tends to throw people out. It messes everything. everything. Eye lines start getting all out of shape, hands go forward and then that club's twisting either way. So, you know, almost hit the reset button, get yourself back into a neutral position and then have a go at making sure, well, making sure that you actually miss these tee pegs. That's gonna help sort of, as I said, take that, hit the reset button and hopefully your contacts will be better. I think one of the big reasons that people say get the stance open is so they can turn through it, isn't it? But you can you can still do that with a with a, a square stance. You just got to make sure you turn. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, like you say, it's the open stance. You know, it's not a problem providing that you know you do it to a small amount and you still have the shoulders reasonably square. But like you say, it can just lead to a few things and people get it wrong as well. So. Okay, so John, within half an hour of seeing this video, hopefully you'll be straight out there on the the chipping green, maybe even in the garden. Probably should stay, stay away from the house, but uh, you know, get in the garden and have a go with this and see if it works. And post your comments straight away, please. We'd love to find out how we got better. And, and don't forget, anyone, any questions at all, post them up there and we'll answer them as soon as possible. And um, you've been watching me and my golf TV.